Hey guys, this is Dylan Seth with JTEC. Um, today we're going to talk about hybrid batteries. Um, specifically, we're going to uh, learn how to disconnect the main hybrid drive battery from the vehicle. Um, we have two vehicles we're going to look at, uh, 2011 Ford Fusion and a um, 2002 Toyota Prius. Um, let's, we're going to walk over the cars and take a look on how to disconnect the main drive battery. All right. All right, guys, now we're over here on our 2002 Toyota Prius. Um, similar concept, but this time you don't have to go through the back seat. You just pop the trunk, you pull all your trim out, and obviously you can see where the battery is. It's this giant orange box. Um, also back here we have our smaller 12-volt battery. Uh, it's a good idea to disconnect both. Um, for our main drive battery, basically all you're going to do is this little switch right here, pull it down, and pull it out. Now the main battery is disconnected from the rest of the vehicle. You can do your work. When you get done, go ahead and hook it back up. Lock it, and, you're, and she's good to roll. All right, the first of our two vehicles, we got our um, Ford Fusion. Um, it's pretty basic, so we're gonna make our way to the back. What you have to do is you gotta start in the trunk. You gotta pull this um, trim down and there's a small tab right about under where this bracket is and we'll take our long screwdriver and pretty much reach in and pop the tab and that'll allow us to drop the back seat. Um, the reason that they make it so difficult to drop the back seat is because they don't want anyone to be able to just drop it and reach back and start playing with wires. So once we get our back seat dropped, this is pretty much our hybrid battery and these are all our little control modules. Um, the boxes with the yellow tape are pretty much our control modules, not that one. This is what we're actually looking for. Um, this is our, it's essentially a fuse, but it's our main fuse disconnect. Um, like I said, it's pretty simple. You pull up and it pops right out. It's pretty much, I mean, now with this out, the main battery is disconnected from the whole car. Um, if you wanted to make sure of it, go put the key in, turn the ignition, it won't start. Uh, it's, it's pretty basic, but now this lets you do anything to the car without the car coming on or anything crazy like that. So we're going to go ahead and put this back in, latch it, lock it. And that's pretty much it. Throw the seat up, put the trunk back together, and it's good, good to roll. Alright guys, that's basically how to disconnect the um, main battery away from the vehicle on um, two example um, hybrid vehicles. Uh, whenever you would do that, you would basically, basically want to do that whenever you're doing pretty much any kind of work. Just because that, when if you ever see a hybrid, you'll see that there are orange wires. The orange wires are high voltage, and they will kill you. So whenever you're doing any work, oil change, have to weld on anything, you always want to disconnect that main battery just in case something goes wrong and you accidentally puncture one of them orange wires. It's probably a blow you across the room, and if you have it disconnected, you're not going to die. Uh, it's pretty basic. Look up your procedures. Figure out where the, the fuse is. Um, some vehicles will have that pull fuse. Some vehicles, like an example, Hondas, they will have a, when you drop the back seat, there will just be a big giant toggle switch. Um, flip it off, put the lock on it, um, do, do the work you got to do. Uh, always remember to put your fuse back or flip your switch back on and make sure the vehicle's running good with no codes. Uh, I'm Dylan. Thanks.